questions, but not another doctor. I have a question. another I think, uh, but, but let's get, uh, he does make a point that uh, we should also say Saban is live and uh, live vaccine and Salk is, uh, is inactive, is inactive, inactive right. as we say in the laboratory. All right. Uh, how many was it, uh, they ask? Now, how many people know that, that the European epidemic of polio, there were about 20 or 30 cases in this country? Now, of course, the American doctors will argue that the reason why polio disappeared in this country was because of the vaccine. But then why did it disappear in Europe in the 1940s and the 1950s without mass vaccination? Right. Why doesn't it occur in the third world where only 10% of the people have ever been immunized against polio or anything else? That, so, in other words, we may be fighting a tiger that died. That's uh, quite correct. Uh, ask the people in Great Britain. Ask the people uh, in Japan who... Uh, well, well, back here, things. gentlemen, if you please, I've got probably the smartest audience we've ever had. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, how long the delayed action, if any, would you connect this with, like MS? With MS, a possibility. It would multiple sclerosis be one of the uh, possible as results? A, as a matter of fact, there's a new publication that just came out from John Hoffman, the close associate of Tony Morris's, that gives the references linking MS in later life to the early introduction of live virus vaccines like measles and like some of the others that are live viruses. Now at the present time I would I would, I would at the present time I would recommend that anybody who has MS or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or any of those degenerative neurologic conditions of later life carefully review their vaccine histories. I would also like to comment to that because in connection with my case I've been doing some research. Let me tell him once again uh, Ms. Gundy but you're a Guillain-Barre victim uh, oh, contracted following the uh, following your receipt of the uh, swine flu vaccination. Yes and I, I am in the process of writing a book about my experience and in the process I've done considerable research and from what I have learned it looks as if immunizations frequently cause autoimmune disease.